Hello community! How to solve mathematical equation? Take an image, upload to GPT-4 Vision. Everything in the library is now accessible to AI. Here we go. Chat GPT, we go to default. I just add here an image, beautiful. And I say, explain the mathematical content of this artificial AI algorithm to me in detail. So this is here an equation. I have no idea what it is. So let's see if he can read it, this, read the mathematical formula, plus explain what this is all about. So description of a training methodology for a multimodal LLM that combines visual images and textual information. Correct, yes. So for each image we, Associated multi-turn conversation data, where T percent total number of turns in the conversation. Yeah, this is correct. The goal here seems to be stimulating a conversation around the image. Yes. The question in turn presents the answer. Yes. Instruction. Tuning. Instruction formatted tuning. Yes, this is true. Can be one of two forms. The first turn, it chooses randomly between the image question pair and the image answer pair. Yes, correct. We have here random choose. Or for subsequent turns, it always it is always the question of that turn. Yes. Unified multimodal instruction. The content mentions a unified format for the multimodal instruction following sequence as illustrated in table two. Unfortunately, table two is not provided. Yes, that's correct. It's missing, but it's probably a detailed breakdown of how the conversation data is transformed into a unified format suitable for model training. Correct. You see, it understands this and it can understand the content of the mathematical formula. This is wow. Honestly, wow. From an image, not even from an input, from an image. Okay. Autoregressive training objective, yes, to predict target answers, XA, based on a given image and instruction, correct. The probability, look at this formula, look at this beautiful formula. Have a look at this, and now we compare it here. Yes, this is it. This is exactly the formula here. This is the formula. I am amazed. Okay, here we are. The probability of generating the target answers given the image and instruction is defined by, and it even gives you here the labels. L is the sequence length, XI is the prediction token at the position I, X instruct and XA are the instruction and answer token up to the position I, and P theta denotes the model probability distribution paramized by theta. Amazing, this little thing. Conditional structure, yes, include, yeah, seems that there's a stop token used to delineate parts of the sequence, but it skips for readability. Model training, the content briefly alludes to a lava model. Yes, this will be the content of the video of tomorrow. And it's two-stage instruction tuning procedure. This is what we code tomorrow. Without additional details, I can't comment much on this. Of course you can't, because you have to watch the video tomorrow. But it suggests that there's a specific model architecture called lava being used. Of course. Alternative viewpoints. Conduct provider of a structure to for multimodal training, then other methodologies so that the effect is not could be measured against benchmark. And this is also what I'm gonna show you tomorrow. So honestly, it not that it just gets the formula right and it gives you the formula here in the correct way. So it can read here latte. Or this is just, no, this is an image. It can read an image, a mathematical formula given an image it can extract, and it can give here you an absolute complete explanation what this is all about. Now, if this would be an easier problem, we could say, hey, code this problem in our, in Python, for example, with code interpreter GPT-4, and run it and give me the result. So if you have homework, if you're still a student and you have homework to do, then, and you even can't type here, it's so complex, you can't type here the task, you 
you take a photo of your given task, you put it into GPT-4 vision, it is extracted, it explains it to you, and you can input this into the code interpreter of GPT-4 to give you a Python program that gives you a real solution. Unbelievable! Mathematics has never been that easy to learn, to self-learn for yourself. Amazing! This is the training objective. So let's ask him something crazy. Can you code this formula in Python? And since this is just GPT-4 and not code interpreter, it, wow! Absolutely, let's transcribe the provided mathematical prescription into Python code. You can use Python functions and libraries such as NumPy to assist in computation. Yes, we know this. Unbelievable. It really gives me here the Python code for this. Computer probability of generating target answer XA. It gives you even the label in the correct way. And instruction X instruct. It gives me the, all the parameter, image data, instruction data up to position I, answer data up to I, yeah. Theta trainable parameters, the model function representing probability distribution sequence length, and it returns the probability value. Initialize our values for I in range, yeah. I mean, is this crazy? It solves formula three here. I can do this in GPT-4 without code interpreter. Yeah, of course, it's an easy mathematical formula. You say, hey, who needs code interpreter? We know this by heart, no? Because we all love mathematics. Unbelievable. Solving complex task. Unbelievable. So let's have a look at this. So it took three times I had to regenerate because it is Friday afternoon for me here recording this video. And it's the first day GPT-4 V is available in Austria and Europe. So everybody is trying out this thing. But look at this. I'll provide a Python function that computes the probability based on the given formula that he extracted from the image. However, it's worth noting that the real world scenario, the function would be more complex and integrated within a neural Network Framework TensorFlow PyTorch. Absolutely correct. But for illustration purposes, thank you, GPT-4, here is a simplified version. And here is the Python code. I am not going to believe it. Look, he defines a function, probability xa given here the x instruct. He tells me what he is going to do. He tells me all the parameters that are extracted from the content of the image he finds out what are the input parameter, the return parameter, probability value. He, de he sets here initial value, has here our p theta function, and returns the probability. And then he says, yeah, placeholder for the model probability distribution function, define p theta, simplified placeholder, whatever, just the dummy value. And of course, you need the neural network in the background. And this is just for demonstration purposes. And it even provides a test. It says, hey, if L is 5 equals 5, theta has none, and this is none. So yes, we have this here. And then it tells us, hey, this is a very basic representation. In a real-world scenario, the model's trainable parameters theta would be weights, biases, and other parameters of our neural network. The function p theta would be a forward pass to the neural network, which would then return a probability distribution over all the possible token xi that we have. But heaven's sake, this is absolutely amazing. This is the first time, and I have to tell you, I am blown away. An image gives you here a complete insight into what's happening here. Has here an absolute perfect reconstruction of the mathematical equation of the formula can deduct every, each and every parameter and even writes you a short Python program here. Understands that it is part of a PyTorch or of a TensorFlow, but gives you here a simplified Python version here based on here this image. So for the very first trial here of GPT-4 vision, I have to tell you, impressive. Tomorrow, I explain to you 
how this is possible, what are the multiple models we have behind this. We have a large language model and we have vision transformer and we have a projector that project between our embedded vector spaces of those models. But more about the details, how this is working in the video tomorrow. Would be great to see you.